If you're anything like me, you have done a prep and your life has completely fucking crumbled by the end of the prep. Now, uh, I've spent a lot of time trying to figure out why this prep has ruined my life, why my shit is in dismay, like why things are just not going well, and I think the questions have been answered by my, uh, I'm gonna nerd out for a second here, by my favorite psychologist of all time, um, Father Abraham Maslow. Um, so I'm not gonna read a bunch of Abraham Maslow, so I'm just gonna read a few things that all we need to know, right? Um, so Abraham Maslow, in this book here, um, it's called A Theory of Human Motivation, he brought up something that he called the um, hierarchy of needs. He calls it Maslow hierarchy of needs. Now, if you've done like psychology 101 in school, you've seen this. Like you've seen this a million times, right? It's nothing new. Basically, it's simple, right? It's a pyramid that says that you have a base of needs, and I'm going to do it on my phone so I make sure I have it right. So you have the two basic needs, which are. Uh, physiological needs and safety needs, right? You need like food, water, you need to feel safe, right? And so like when you get these bottom things like food and water and things like that, like you have safety. So like you ever get hungry, like you get hangry and you just don't give a shit about anything? Uh, that reason is because he says that humans have motivation based off where they're at in a pyramid, right? So when you're hungry and you get hangry, um, you have basically this quote he uses from, from, from this book. He says, all capacities are put into the service of hunger satisfaction, and the organization of these, capacity, of these capacities is almost entirely determined by one purpose of satisfying hunger. The receptors and the factors, the intelligence, memory, habits, all now be defined simply as hunger gratifying tools. Capacities that are not useful for this purpose lie dormant and are pushed into the background. The urge to write poetry, the desire to acquire an automobile, the interest in American history, the desire for a new pair of shoes are in the extreme case forgotten or become a second of secondary importance. For the person who is extremely and dangerously hungry, no other interest exists but food. They dream food, they remember food, they think about food, they emote only about food, they perceive only food, and food is only what he wants. And I think uh, what that quote says to me is that like, if we go through the hierarchy of needs, right, what happens is that like, you start off at, these, at a fulfilled life for the most part. You start off saying, I am not hungry. I'm fed. I'm, I feel safe. I have my safety needs. Um, I have my psychological needs. I have a good family. I have a good job. I have good support. I have belongingness and love. I have esteem. And the only thing left for you to do is to say, well, what is the highest version of myself like what else can i achieve i have all of these things like what is the fuck like what's the next level that i can go through and i think the next level you can go to is what he calls self-actualization right self-actualization is what you can go through when in that pyramid everything is satisfied so you're you're hung you're good you're not hungry you're not anything and now you can think you have love you have a good relationship and now you can think about i think i want to do a show you know, you can think these things while you're healthy, but what the fuck happens, right? In between that time that you feel like you can do the show when you feel healthy and things just fall apart. I personally think what happens is like a, sort of like a game of, of Jenga. And if you guys know what Jenga is, Jenga is when you have a base of things you build in this game and you slowly take out parts from the bottom. I think that's exactly what happens in prep, right? You start off strong self actualize I'm gonna lift this much, I'm gonna get this lean, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I wanna do. And slowly, the, the composition of what a prep is, is that if you want to do anything extreme in your life, uh, you have to have extreme actions, right? Like you don't get ordinary results with ordinary behavior. Like you have to be extraordinary to be extraordinary. And I think by design, prep is, prep robs from that, right? So. I think the first thing we need to be aware of is like, where in these pyramids, where in the pyramid is your prep going to take things out, right? So one, most of us deal with dieting. Food is gonna have to be taken out, right? So that instantly is a cultural thing as I've talked about in my other videos, that's out. That is uh, automatically um, a comfort thing, right? You can't sleep as long as you want to sometimes because you have to train a little more. You can't watch your Netflix. You can't have those social needs, right? You're not going out on Fridays because you're training. Like, so, so many things are missing and you're just picking out of this pyramid. So I would say if there's one thing I would do, right, to have this highest level of self, right, because this is what you want to do, how you want to express yourself, is to find substitutes, right? So for me personally, um, if you know that you fill your um, social need, by going out and you go to dinner. 
and you can't do dinners anymore, switch that for something that you can fit into your prep, right? So maybe do bowling or maybe do hiking. I hike, right? I have hikes and I go with people when people are in town or I go with friends, right? Like, so you have to find something to fill that need because like you're going to pull out these Jenga blocks, but how can you self-actualize if you've taken your whole base out of the bottom if you're starving right and like i said earlier like everything you want is food like everything that's all you want is food all you think about is food or all you want to do is sleep and all you want to do is rest and recover right it's like it's nearly difficult and by the end of this prep where you started off so healthy with this strong base of a pyramid you've stripped so much of it so i think uh, the the second thing that, that i would say is like do maintenance on your pyramid base right you can't just say I am healthy, I have this and I have all these things in life and I simply would like to jump to self-actualize. Self-actualize is the highest level of self um, to do this goal, to do this prep or to do this competition or whatever the fuck I want. But you can't go all in on that forsaking and not grooming and not keeping maintenance on those things. Like You still need to have some of those base things. You still need to fulfill those esteem needs. You can't just totally live at self-actualization. That's like saying in the old school food pyramid they used to have, I'm gonna eat all the bottom of the period pyramid and oh well I've done so well, let me just eat sweets. Well if all you eat is sweets, you've cut down the, the whole pyramid. You've, you've pulled out that game of Jenga. So to reach your highest self, the highest level of self-actualization, as Maslow defines it, it is the human goal, the humanistic goal. The goal so far as human beings are concerned is ultimately the self-actualization of a person to becoming fully human, the development of the fullest height that the human species can stand up to or that the particular individual can come to. In a less technical way, it is helping the person to become the best that he is being able to come. I think an issue that I've had in many preps is that as I was trying to become the best that I could be, I was also robbing the things that made me best uh, unbeknownst to me. I didn't know that I was taking out calling my mom. I didn't know that I was taking out a social thing. So know before you go into your prep what you're taking out. Know where to substitute these things in so you don't have a fucking destructive prep. Because if your pyramid has no base, it's going to go to the wash, man. If you like the video, please click like, like the video. Uh, please comment. I try to get to all the comments and try to keep these com uh, keep these topics rolling. If you guys have any more input or your perspective on it, um, share with a friend who's probably dying right now in a, in, a, in a prep or something like that, and subscribe. Thank you.